Hey, hey, it's Mega, aka Art Messiah, um, and I'm back with another sketch vlog. Um, I got something for you guys today. Um, so, for those of you that don't know, which is probably um, all of you guys, um, I recently um, had to upgrade to a new laptop. So, my old laptop, um, rest in peace, um, kind of was about to kick the bucket. Um, so. Um, I kind of had to lay it to rest, and I have to had to search for a new option. So the past few weeks, um, I was doing a lot of research into um, laptops. So today, I'm going to give you um, some options that I have found for two-in-one laptops. Um, are they good for drawing? Um, can you use them for digital art? Uh, which ones you should you look for? And give you my opinion on a few of them. Uh, but first. I'm going to go ahead and get a timer started. Um, so, for my series of sketch vlogs, I like to keep them quick. Um, so, my plan is to just talk 10 minutes. I'll give you guys a quick review, and then we're going to kick it into time lapse, and I'm going to finish up the drawing. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start a timer. Okay, Google, set timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. And that's starting now. All right. So, we got the timer going, we got 10 minutes. Okay, so, when my laptop kicked the bucket, um, I started reviewing and started looking into different laptops that I could purchase that were also tuned ones. Uh, the previous laptop that I was using was uh, a Lenovo um, ThinkPad Yoga 14-inch. Uh, um, and now, um, it's been released for a while, so it's actually fairly cheap now, and it's fairly old. I think you can pick one up online for maybe just a couple hundred bucks. Um, this laptop was actually pretty good. Um, it was it had dedicated graphics, uh, a 14-inch screen, um, and like I said before, it was a two-in-one, uh, so you could draw on it. Um, and I used the Wacom Ink with it, uh, which worked fairly well with it. Um, <clears throat> so I was moving from that, and once, um, so the kind of story and reason behind that the laptop was kind of kicking the bucket, um, was that my friend dropped it on the ground, and, uh, he, <laughs> he was trying to be helpful, and he tried to grab my bag, and he just grabbed it upside down, so it landed on its head, and it kind of cracked a little bit, so that's what happened to it. Um, so I had to look for something new, um because a line down the middle of the screen I could not even draw on anymore so it was a little frustrating to use I did use it for a while afterwards um, but it was getting kind of frustrating to continue to draw on and uh, since I wanted to start making videos more I decided it'd be a good time to upgrade um, upgrade my laptop a little bit um, so that brings me to what I'm currently using so what I'm drawing with today is the Samsung Samsung Notebook 9 Pro, um, and it's a pretty cool laptop to be honest. It's a pretty great laptop um, for digital artists, um, and I'm going to go ahead and explain why and give you guys some pros and some cons, uh, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the specs of it um, real quick. So this Samsung Notebook Pro um, uh, are... Samsung Notebook 9 Pro, uh, 15 inch, um, has some pretty impressive stats for a middle of the line 2-in-1 laptop. Um, so it has a dedicated graphics card, which is a great um, for a laptop to have, uh, especially if you're doing... Um, video gaming or video editing um, or anything along those lines um, which I I do I do a lot of video editing because of you know the videos that I make now uh, so it, it boasts that it's got um, dedicated graphics uh, it's got a 15 inch display which right now is really nice to draw on um, um, it's got the radion radon, I think it's the 540 for the graphics card and it's got a solid state drive of about 225 gigabytes which isn't super large but uh, if you use an external hard drive like I do it's perfectly fine to be able to do all the 
um, store all the stuff you need. Uh, and I use cloud storage too, which kind of makes up for the other bit of, a bit of it. Um, it's got a nice set of ports too. It's got two USB ports and a micro SD port, and you have your HDMI and your USB-C plus your um, audio jack. Um, so it has your standard amount of ports, which is really nice. And then I think the coolest feature about this laptop um, is that it does have a built-in pen. Uh, so for those of you familiar with uh, Samsung products, um, you'll know that they have like the, the Note line, which is their line of phones, and also their Tab series. Um, they, they all have this Wacom technology, um, and that's why I'm so excited about this laptop specifically. Um, it's called Wacom EMR, which stands for, uh, I think, uh, Electromagnetic uh, Resistance um, Wacom Technology. So this is kind of the tried and true technology of, of pen um, technology. It's got 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity with the built-in pen, but this pen that I'm using, it's very, very small. Um, so I ordered some more pens off of line um, that I hope to test out and give you guys a review on. Um, this isn't going to be a full review today because um, I don't have my video camera out so I can't really show you um, how it looks physically or anything like that. But this is my first time using this pen really um, to actually try to draw something. Um, and I'm not used to it yet. It doesn't feel um, like my old pen in drawing with that. Uh, it just feels um, quite a bit different to be honest. Um, and it's very thin, so the grip isn't super comfortable. So um, I don't think I would probably be using this S Pen very much um, for actual drawing. But I did get a few um, um, regular sized pens as well to try out, uh, including the Tab S4 Pen, um, which I think is probably going to work the best. But I also got a, a Wacom Bamboo Pen that we're going to try out. Um, so that should be very interesting to see. So all in all, um, I gotta say, I am um, pretty impressed um, with it so far. Um, I like how it feels. Um, it feels pretty natural to use. Um, the screen brightness is really good, um, and they even have an option if you're working outside to increase the brightness even more. Um, uh, let's see, I'm just trying to find a, a brush that I want to use. This is so weird because I'm not used to, I'm not used to this. Uh, let's try 25 maybe. That's interesting. Um, okay, so what you just heard there was the laptop actually uh, closing all the way. I'm trying to figure out a way to kind of prop this up for myself so that I can have a steady surface to draw on. But while you're drawing it, um, the hinges are really good and there's not that much flex so it doesn't just like fall back. Um, that's another plus side to it. Um, I just think that they did a really good job for the price range. It's around $1,200 for this. Um, it's a two-in-one. Oh, and another thing that I want to talk about, let me bring out maybe this pen, or this, looks like a paintbrush, we'll use this for a little bit, just to show you. Um, another cool thing is that they have the tilt, uh, can I use the tilt on this, yeah, so you can kind of see over in the corner that the tilt is activated, so it has pressure sensitivity and it has tilt, which is, you know, what you get on a standard, um, drawing tablet but the great thing about this is you can take this it's it's mobile you know and you only need one unit uh, you don't have to bring multiple units along when you want to go draw um, or anything like that so in that regard it's really nice um, you can get some really smooth lines uh, the lines are really good um, and it's very responsive um, and it's very accurate as well where you want to draw it draws it so um, not jittery or anything like that and for those of you 
um, that we want to test if it can draw like a straight line using a ruler. I'm just going to go ahead and lay a, a, a straight edge and even though I'm, I'm personally not holding this very steady, you can see that you can get a smooth line without a lot of jitter. So the pen that comes with it is really, uh, really impressive, um, pretty fantastic. So, um, and the thing is, it fits actually into the laptop. So I can see myself using this a lot when I'm in class, uh, taking notes um, and all that kind of stuff. Another thing about this is, you know, obviously you're drawing right on the screen, which is um, always very helpful. Um, you can use your fingers to zoom in and out, and you can also use your fingers to rotate the piece. Um, the only complaint that I have so far uh, with this device is that I have noticed it running hot, um, but I haven't seen a drop in performance. Um, I just noticed that it's been running a little bit hot. Um, so yeah, um, I would I would recommend this laptop for people that are not willing to spend um, a whole bunch of money, um, but they do get that two-in-one experience. They do get a dedicated graphics card for some light gaming. Um, I haven't tested out any of the games um, that I play yet. I'm going to test out probably Team Fortress and um, Overwatch on it. Um, but there's a timer, so let me go ahead and turn that off. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty good product to purchase if you're looking for a two-in-one. Um, the only thing that I could probably point out that might be better than this um, would be the HP ZBook X2. Um, but again, that's a lot more expensive. In order to get one um, to edit videos and do Photoshop and all that is running around $4,000. Now, of course, you can get low-end versions. You can get ones that, you know, if you just want to run Photoshop, you can get them around $1,500, um, anywhere around that price range. Uh, but for this price, um, this honestly works pretty, get, uh, pretty great so far. Um, and this video is actually a test. I really want to test out um, how I can stream and draw at the same time. Would it be able to handle it? Um, I'm sorry I didn't draw anything cool uh, right now. But um, I'm probably going to kick it in a time lapse um, and actually draw something interesting for you guys. Um, and then maybe, maybe come back for a few final words because, like I said, this is my first time using it. But as of now, I am pretty impressed with it. So, Samsung Notebook 9 or Pro 9, um, guys. Um, definitely go check it out, at least, at the very least. Go to Best Buy. Um, and I'll make another uh, video to review it a little bit further and to also give you guys uh, my opinions on what pens to get for it because I ordered in three pens so I'll be giving a review on those three pens too and we're going to be slicing in some new video so you can actually see physically see how big it is um, what the surface looks like um, but for right now um, I'm honestly pretty impressed so um, that's all for right now I uh, hope you guys enjoy the vid um, if you have any comments or concerns or any questions about this laptop, uh, please just leave them in the comment below and I'll definitely answer them. Um, and um, yeah, stay tuned for a more in-depth review after I use it a little bit more. But this is just kind of my uh, first take on it. So thanks for watching guys and I'll be back with another video real soon. Mm, peace.